Hey everyone, it is Spicy Sushi. So I know in the last video I said I would do a sextant rolling video to show you what kind of goes into, you know, trying to get uh, Awaken, I mean, uh, Sacred Grove. Um, so basically, I'm going to be using Booming Populuses for this video. I think this has the highest resale value because Nemesis is actually worth a decent amount now. I was originally only selling Nemesis for like 45 chaos when I was rolling for Sacred Grove, but now uh, because of Glenac farming, they're actually quite expensive. Uh, well, not really, but still decent. Uh, but as a result of that as well, these have gone up, these Awakened Sextants. I was buying these at 1.4 now, and now they are like 2 to 0.3. So I got all of these for about 10 exalts, and I'm going to we're going to hopefully make a lot of profit here and hit harvest. Now, if we don't do either of those, uh, I'm going to be really sad. But I wanted to make this video to show you guys what goes into the rolling process. Because stones are pretty expensive now. I, I am not going to be paying 2.5 to 3x per, per uh, harvest watchstone. It is still kind of worth it uh, in a very long-term bulk session of harvests. Because like when you get tier fours or augments or like good clusters, it will make a lot of profit. But it it just it does not feel good to spend that much, and so I refuse to do it. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, the other options are going to be making a harvest runner, uh, which is still in the works. It should be done pretty soon. I'm working with Mr. Khan on that, and then um, rolling your own and selling the profit. So that's what we're going to do today. Now I have my sextant blocks. I have heard two elemental monster pack. And Shrine is the best blocks that you can possibly do for, for hitting Sacred Grove. And so we're going to do that. And please, yep, make sure you do have your Enduring Influence. This is all you need when you're rolling the Sextants. So yeah, we have our three blocks and this. So let's go ahead and go. 683 Sextants. Oh, and I meant to show you guys. This is what I'm going to be stopping on. I don't think... I'm, I'm going to be checking the prices, but these are the main ones that matter is Nemesis Beyond Sacred Grove for profit and for use. I think these could be could be good. I, I might uh, stop on these just in case we get desperate. Smugglers is like for my own strategy I'm thinking about, and Legion is pretty much for my own strategy as well. I'm going to stop on these breaches. I think those could sell, and I kind of want to use them for my own project. Oh my god, okay, awesome. Wow. That's really nice. Okay, two sacred groves. Problem is it's gonna take forever to sell all this stuff back. That is the that is the harsh reality of this. It will take a long time to sell stuff. So if you don't hit Sacred Grove, it feels really bad. So I wanted to just stick to booming populace and oh my, okay. Wow. This is my best run on these so far. I've never hit three Sacred Grove. Oh, man. Okay. I would do Elevated Sextants, but there's just none on the market. There's just, It's just not possible.
Oh, I wonder if Alva's actually really good. Probably not that good. Oh, Sacred Grove, okay. Wow, really happy with this today, actually. This is making me really happy. Okay. All right, Nemesis. That's what Nemesis War of the Monthly Stars goes for. 90 Chaos. Okay, nice. Sacred Grove. Wow. Okay, so that is... One, two, three, four, five sacred groves and ten exalts of sextants. Jeez. I couldn't have asked for things going better for me today on this. I've had some really bad runs this league, but this is, this makes me really happy. And a nemesis. There's another Nemesis. There it is. Oh my god, dude. If I was selling Sacred Groves, this would be maybe the highest profit per hour that I've ever gotten in PoE. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what is going on. Okay, all right, last two. I don't think we're gonna, there's no way we have something in these last two, but either way. All right, and there it is. So I'm going to uh, be back with the spreadsheet and we'll go over how much was made, like how many of each we made and how much profit possible that we that we might have made from this. All right, hey everyone, we are back. Uh, I have separated all the stones and calculated the uh, return and everything like that. So our investment, booming populaces at about 15 chaos each on average for 16 of them for a total of 240 chaos. Uh, war, the same, awakened sextants, 2.3 chaos each, 683, so uh, 1.9 uh, K chaos invested. So if we go down here, this was our return so we got really lucky on sacred groves and sacred groves are actually three exalts each i'm going to be using them but you know what if you decide to sell them and i don't recommend anyone buy sacred grove for 3x i just do not recommend it at all uh you will only be averaging over a massive bulk session i, I can't see more than just like what you know you could probably go to glenac for way more profit than that than paying three exalts per four harvests but Anyway, if you decide to sell it, though, those are 390 chaos each, and we hit six. That is where the bulk of everything came from. Everything else just kind of softens the blow, and we got very lucky here. Now, I realized that I probably should have stopped on these Legion ones and these Delirium ones and these Breach ones every time uh, because those actually do look like they sell for a decent amount of chaos. That would help soften the blow if you got unlucky. And uh, so I should have done that. If I were to go back, I would do that. But the issue is the supply. You see, you, you have to go through a lot of stones, and it is annoying to buy those. The only reason I had so many was because of all of the... Uh, oops. Because of all of the sacred groves I've been running in the past. So but anyway, total profit is 2181 chaos, 2189 chaos for 16 exalts. Now that took like 15 minutes. 16 exalts now we got incredibly lucky though so but yeah that is just wanted to want to show you guys what it's like rolling sextants yourself and this is probably not what you will see on average this is probably two to three times as lucky as i've ever gotten usually it's only like four to five exalts profit 
uh, if I were to sell Sacred Grove, but also Sacred Groves were much cheaper when I was rolling this, and Nemesis was much cheaper. Nemesis was 45 Chaos, not one Exalt when I was doing this. So who knows, but that is uh, this is for you guys to interpret yourself. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.